Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we are going to build our own MPPD solar charge controller using Arduino and by combining many active passive electronics. MPPD means Maximum PowerPoint Tracking Controller. This is a solar panel that can generate a voltage of up to 20 volt. Most solar panels produce much higher voltage than is necessary to charge a 12 volt battery. A 12 volt charging panel will actually produce 16 to 18 volts, depending on conditions, but only about 14.6 volts is necessary to charge most 12 volt batteries. There, most of the voltage is wasted. Using the MPPT charging technology, we can convert the excessive voltage to current and hence we can increase the efficiency. In this video, we will learn about solar power charging technology and go through the MPPT charging technology. Later, using the Arduino and many electronics component, we will design the schematic and PCB for MPPT charge controller. Then by writing the embedded C code, we can program the Arduino Nano to visualize all the charging parameters on LCD screen. Later, we can test the charger the whole day and find out whether it is perfectly working or not. This video is going to be detailed as a lot of explanation and design method is explained. Therefore, without getting any delayed, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Next PCV and HQ Online. The HQ Online is a one-stop electronic component sourcing platform. HQ Online provides a complete set of electronic component business services. All you need to do is search the electronic component with a part number. As it has a fastest search engine, it will show you the list of all available parts. Add the part to your cart then place the order. To get started, check the link in the description. Let's see what components we require to build on MPPT solar charge controller. We need Arduino Nano board as a main controller. Then 20 cross 4 LCD display to display all solar parameters. The ACS712 current sensor measures the current, voltage and power. Then we need MOSFET, transistors, resistor, capacitors, inductors, diode, multiple LED, some MOSFET driver IC. For the solar panel part, I am using a 24 volt solar panel. For battery, I used 12 volt lead acid battery. You can purchase all the components from the link given on our site either from AliExpress or Amazon. Let's see the circuit part now. To design the circuit, I have taken references from Open Green Energy and some other links in the instructables. Thanks to all the earlier developer who has done this work to make MPPT charger more efficient and better. For our project part, we have modified the design according to our requirements. The project consists of many steps and has a lot of designs calculations involved. All the steps are explained in the website article. Here is the complete schematic for this project. For a 50 watt solar panel and a load of 12 volt lead acid battery, we need to design a bug converter. The bug converter in our case is designed using the inductor, capacitor and MOSFETs. Giving all design constraints into consideration, we selected a frequency of 50 kHz. To achieve this frequency, we have used an inductor of 33 micro Henry and a capacitor of 220 micro Farad. For the MOSFET part, we used IRFZ44 and MOSFET. For driving the MOSFET, we need a MOSFET driver IC. The IR2104 half bridge driver is best suited for this application. Hence, using this inductor, capacitor and MOSFET, we designed the bug converter. The solar panel voltage is fed as an input voltage. There are two voltage divider circuits. This one is used to measure the solar panel input voltage via Arduino analog pin A0. And the other one is used to measure the output voltage which is fed to analog pin A2 of Arduino. The diode D3 is supposed to make the converter more efficient. The diode D1 is a TVS diode of over voltage protection from the solar panel. Similarly, the diode D5 is used for protection from the load side. The MOSFET Q2 is used to control the load. 
The driver for this MOSFET consists of a 2 and 2222 transistor Q1 and resistor R5 and R6. The current sensor AC has 712 senses the current from the solar panel and fits it to the Arduino analog pin A1. The three LEDs are connected to the digital pins of the microcontroller and serve as an output interface to display the charging state. The backlight switch is to control the backlight of the LCD display. That is all from the circuit part. I converted this schematic to a PCB using the EasyADA software. This is the PCB which has a lot of components. The front side and back side of the circuit look something like this. Keeping voltage current and capacitance parameters in mind, I have calculated and applied the trace width and clearance value. The link for the cover file is given in the description. You can simply download the PCB and order it from next PCB. Alright, for my testing and designing, I used zero PCB to assemble the circuit. Before soldering, you should be clear about the power and control signal. Do not mix up between them, otherwise you will fry everything. I have kept all the components like resistor, capacitor, inductor, microcontroller, current sensor and power MOSFET on zero PCB. There are two push buttons used in the circuit. One is for the LCD backlight and the other is for resetting the circuit. I connected the 20 x 4 LCD display externally using jumpers. As you can see the backside is too messy. That is why it is recommended to use the PCB for this project. The solar panel is needed to be connected to the input terminal. In our case, here are the solar panel parameters mentioned on the backside of the panel. The battery is connected to the battery terminal of the PCB. To power the Arduino and other components, you can use an Arduino USB supply or power it using a 5 to 9 volt DC adapter. The code I have taken is found on the internet, especially from Open Green Energy. And I have done slight modifications to the code according to my requirements. Add the I2C LCD library and the timer1 library so that the code would compile. While I wouldn't like to explain the code as it is too long consisting of almost 550 lines. You may go through each line to identify what actually is happening and how all parameters are being measured. Now from the tools menu select Arduino Nanoboard and its COM port. Hit the upload button so that the code will be uploaded. To turn on the system, I am powering the device using a 5 volt USB power supply via Arduino. The LCD shows solar panel voltage, current, power, battery voltage, charger state, SOC, PWM, duty cycle and load status. All the parameters in the display are currently zero as I haven't connected any input or output to the circuit. The battery charging and load status both are off currently. I will use this multimeter to verify all voltage parameters. I have placed the solar panel in the sunlight and this is the solar panel probe. Let me check the voltage now. The voltage it keeps is almost 20 volt. This voltage may vary depending on weather and sunlight condition. Try to place the solar panel at maximum lightning conditions. Let me plus the solar panel to the input terminal of PCB. The voltage it shows is like 19.2 volt with a current of almost 1 ampere and a power consumption of nearly 10 watt. The PWM signal cycle is 94% right now. On the right side, I would connect a battery. But before then, let me check what is the battery voltage currently. It is almost 9.7 volt currently. This means the battery needs a lot of charging. To do that, I will connect it to the battery terminal in the PCB. Now, as soon as I connected the battery, the LCD shows the battery voltage along with its status. It shows it is charged to 78% currently. Hence, we need to charge it more. To check further status, I need to put the solar panel in a charging state for a few hours.
After half an hour, I can see the battery is charged to 81% and even the battery voltage has reached to 10.3 volt. After leaving for an hour again, the battery voltage has reached 10.9 volt and it is charged to 86%. On the other hand, the charging current has decreased to 0.89 ampere. The PWM cycle is decreased to 92%. After an hour again, the battery got charged to 11.9 volt, which is the 92%, and there is a change in current and power parameters as well. Finally, I can see the battery got charged to 100% almost, which in LCD is 12.7 volt, but in the multimeter it's 15 volt. You can connect any load to the load terminal so that the load will turn on and will be displayed on the LCD. The red, green and yellow LEDs are used to indicate the battery voltage level. The red LED indicates low voltage and the green LED is normal voltage and yellow LED is fully charged. While testing, we can notice that the voltage to the solar panel increases initially. If the output power increases, the voltage continuously increases until the output power starts decreasing. Once the output power starts decreasing, the voltage to the solar panel decreases until it reaches maximum power. This process is continued until the MPPT is attained. This result is an oscillation of the output power around the MPP. This is how you can design and develop your own MPPT solar charge controller using Arduino. We can do a lot of modifications and design the circuit with additional features to increase the efficiency with better results. To understand more, follow the website article and read thoroughly to find more. The website article also has the schematic PCV design files and GOVA files, which can be used for productions. I hope you like this video a lot. In case you have any other doubts, comment in the comment section below so that I can clear your